and welcome back everybody. Still following Induna on Central Road, just going past Hyena Drive or Hyena Road. I say he still has a bit of meat left in the tree and I think he might be making his way back there. He's had a bit of a drink. He's going to make his way back to the tree. If there's anybody joining us, I'm just tuning in. My name's Tara, I'm your guide. For a little while longer, and we have Herman on camera with Alex in Final Control. If you would like to ask any questions, send them through to Final Control at Safari.tv. As I say, we're staying with him doing a little bit longer, so I say I'm hoping to see him go back to the kill. So we won't be able to stay out too much longer. I'm just keeping quite a respectful distance just behind him. You can see he's not even turning around to look at us. He's not running off. He's just taking a leisurely pace. Which is exactly what we want from a cat who's relaxed around us and who trusts us. There he goes. He seems to like this area as well. We lost him in this area once before. <laughs> Thanks, Herman. <laughs> I lost him. Uh, which station by the Ingwe Bamba? Go up for that. Looks like the Ingwe is making his way back to where you are. Copy, confirm there's another Ingwe by the Bamba. Okay, copy. Um, the Madoda who made the bumper is on his way back. <laughs> Copy, I'm going to come in and join you guys again. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. For some reason, I think there's been wires crossed. Sounds like there was another leopard here feeding off of his kill while he was away. I'm sure I had tracks coming in here to follow. But maybe not. going to get back and find nothing there left to eat. Exactly. And this is what I was saying earlier about them gorging themselves, making use of what they've already caught because they don't know if they're going to lose the kill and when they're next going to eat. Try and get into the clearing. Sorry, tree. Oh, where was he? He's just there. I can still see him. Oh, yeah, I can still see his tail. 
Hi, how are you? I'm fine as you. Good, thank you. He's just coming in here. Do you know which leopard was eating? Sorry? Do you know which leopard was eating? Uh, which leopard? No, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, here he comes. Okay, I'm just going to move again. Well, can you see him quite nicely there? Yeah, it's all right. I can see him right. Actually, yeah, I'm going to have to move because we're going to have this tree in the way. Mm -hmm. I was saying it was a big male that was eating in parlor. I wonder if it was Mishu's brother. But he was looking at something earlier on. He's going to go into the tree. Mm -hmm. not. There's a bit of leg that dropped. Is he on a leopard that he's coming? Yeah, but he's on the top of the top. He's on the top of the top of the top. Ah, okay. He's on the top. Okay. He's on the top. He's on the top. He's on the top. Okay, fine, okay. Yeah, you see the little one that now is so is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Do you think that he was his brother or friend? Was het een redelijk, was het al een ouder geleiperd of was het nog jong? Nee, gewoon even zo. Ja, ik ben niet maar zo wat groter hier. Ja, ik ben ook groter dan hier. Oké. Ja. Guys, I'm reciting with us, just saying there was another big leopard. We gaan naar de Jarrett tele. Goed. Jarrett en de Abel mij geblij. Oeh, ja, ja, ja. De Abel was in kamp geblij. Hulle werk nie vanmiddag nie, maar hulle is bij huis nou. Hulle is hulle bij huis. Ja, ja. Hij en die Fransman. Ja, Sebastian. Catherine. Catherine, yeah. Was it then on lekker gebruik samen met de? Hulle sê hulle het lekker gebruik. Was het lekker bij hulle gegeven, man? Lekker, lekker. Het is lekker goed, dus die sê het. Jokke blubbele raak hier. Ik zal verzeker veel het goed, dus die. One of the guys in the site team is sitting with us. And he said, just before we came here, so I was speaking up with cons, if you guys were wondering what that was all about. But, uh, he said there was a bigger leopard here that took the head of the impala and uh, went straight into the bush about uh, four or five minutes before we arrived. He said it's, it was quite a bit bigger, so I'm thinking it maybe it was. Be, yeah, maybe it was Yambili. Maybe it was Yambila mm. Yordan, because I don't Could think. Uh, Mishu isn't that much bigger, eh? Not really. No, Mishu mm -hmm. isn't that much bigger, so it's possibly Yambila Yordan that we saw. Or we, what that they saw. But I think there was obviously a few lines crossed. We must go now. I track where. Go this. You you can play on the I track. No, no, we must go I track. We must go long this way. Rare, here come a play. Jerry, 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 Jerry,
Yeah, we're just having the two vehicles leaving. There's going to be one other vehicle joining us. What I'm going to do is just reposition ourselves so we can see him. But I'm just going to wait because obviously if there's too much movement, it's going to disturb him. So we've just got a little bit of a black screen at the moment. I'm going to wait for the other vehicle to come in. I'll let them find a good spot because they haven't seen the leopard yet and then we will put ourselves somewhere where we can hopefully see him. I think that was Mr. Dan Houser. Okay, I'm going to move now. And that's where Kath and Jared were living up in Buffleshook for a couple of months while the World Cup was on. Uh, so we had to move out of Inga's house, so they were about half an hour's drive up into Buffleshook, and he was one of the neighbours. I think he was just talking about the bride. Eh? <laughs> they invited them for a bride. Is that all right there? We do have a spotlight on. We're not allowed to have more than one spotlight on the animal. So we can get the shadow from them. Oh, and here comes the hyena. Didn't take them long. And there's still actually another bit of leg hanging from the tree. So he's busy chewing on one leg. Obviously with a huge full belly, he still has room for more food. I would say that in, that impala is going to last him for quite a while. I don't think he'll need to hunt for maybe four or five days now. the hyena. I'll see if we can you know, just put a little bit of light on Induna there. So you can have a quick look at him, looking at the hyena. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they put the light on. I don't have enough light for me. Okay. I think we are probably going to have to leave, leave the site. Okay. Light, we are battling a little bit with the light, even if we do put the spotlight on in Duna. And so there's not much meat left, so I'll, I'll come back around here tomorrow, just have a look, see if there is anything around. But I don't think he's going to stick around. But 
I, I could be wrong. He may decide to sleep the rest of his meal off in the tree tonight and stay here until tomorrow morning. So it might be worth his actually coming back. And here comes the hyena. Here's a spotted hyena. One of the most powerful jaws in the animal kingdom. And that's why leopards won't really try anything with hyena. They'll give way to them. They're very, very strong. And they can eat bone, so that's that's one of the reasons why they're able to eat quite large chunks of bone. Of those powerful jaws. <coughs> and this hyena, actually, I think it's our female that's has the pups. I can see her teeth are actually quite swollen. Can you smell next to us? I think we must have something next to the vehicle that's attracting the animals tonight. I'm trying not to shine the light directly into the hyena's eyes. It's not very comfortable. Just like humans. It's not nice when people shine lights into your eyes. It's the same with the animals. You can see the reaction of the hyena as soon as there was any possible sign of that leg dropping. I looked around, checked it out. Got a bit. <laughs> or not? I thought she got a bit. It's quite interesting that the other male leopard took the head away rather than stay to eat it. And I wonder why. Good. And just in case you guys didn't hear that, I'm just thinking or just wondering, the bigger male leopard took the kill, or took half the kill with the, the head from the impala away. I wonder why he didn't stay to eat it. Uh, last station, uh, there's two vehicles at the Ingray sighting. You're more than welcome to approach. Which station looking for the English sighting? <laughs> uh, good evening. Uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to approach. Uh, we've got one in BZ here as well. So there really isn't much love lost between leopard 
hyena or even lion and hyena. Okay. Alrighty guys, I think we are going to have to leave the site and it sounds like there's another vehicle also interested. We're going to make room for them. Just a few more minutes with him. And if he's going to go to the other side. So if you can switch off his light, then we'll switch ours on and we might be able to see him again. Almost if he's deciding whether it's worth his trouble trying to get that extra piece of meat from the tree. There's a little bit that's actually, I don't know if I can shine up on them. I think it's just through the trees for us. Yeah, please do it quickly. I just shine on the ear. Hmm? Shine on the ear. Okay. Okay, he's got the spotlight back on the left one. <clears throat> sure, those branches are getting very, very thin there. <laughs> How are you doing? We're doing wonderful. Good, good. We found you in leopard for you. Mike's just joined us. Better late than never, hey? Uh, our <laughs> second trip here, by the way. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, so.
dropped anything yet? A little bit. <clears throat> trying to work out what he's actually trying to do. So I think he's trying to reposition that piece of meat that's wrapped around the branch. He's going to lose it. And the hyena's back. Oh shame, it's actually wrapped around the branch and can't understand why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so uncomfortable there. You see the white tip of the tail of the impala using his tongue just to loosen the meat from the bone. Now you can see him using his cheek teeth, the carnassials. They're a very sharp pair. It helps to shear the meat away from the bone. Yeah, the vehicle's taking a while to get here now.
sneaky. Okay, well, we're going to pull out and give somebody else a go. Okay. Still losing bits. I'm trying to find a better way now. Okay, unfortunately, even though he is leaving, we are going to have to say goodnight. Not allowed to look nice. And uh, as I say, I will try and come back and see if Induna is around tomorrow morning. And possibly, I did hear there's possibly lines down towards the south, so maybe they might make their way up. But uh, at least we managed to spend most of the drive with Induna. What a magical drive it was. Quite a crazy one as well, with him being so close and so relaxed. It really is amazing. But uh, it just goes to show if you treat them right, then they'll treat you right as well. And they will really open up to you like that. It's incredible. But thank you very much for joining us. And do enjoy the rest of your day or rest of the night. And... <laughs> Sorry. It's getting a little bit... Uh, Closer to the leopard, I think Mike's going to really have some great pictures there. It's from myself, Herman, Alex, and of course, Induna. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Bye for now.